Ladies and gentlemen, in order to hit rank one on the leaderboards, you need a lot of things going for you. First of all, you need to just basically be able to maintain the top five pages in the leaderboard, so top 250 players. Then you have to have basically a good day in GBL or a good few days just to get, just to move up those ranks. And then it takes a little bit of luck and a whole lot of skill. Um, you also need to just have that right team for the day as the meta seems to shift almost every day in the top ranks. Not a lot of people playing the exact same team every day because you're going to be playing the exact same people every day and they're going to remember your team because their queue times are just so long that you're only playing the same like group of people at the very top, basically that first, second page of the leaderboards. So... We're going to go ahead and go into depth on one of these teams, and it's from Andy Kopi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he hit rank one the other day. I think yes, it might have been yesterday or the day before with the team of Alolan. I almost said Sanctuary. Alolan Ninetales uh, with Lantern and Lickitung in the back. So this is a ABB type team, um, and you basically... If you can, you want to go two shields, obviously, and just two shield through things with the Alolan Ninetales, uh, Shadow Alolan Ninetales, I forgot if I said that. And um, again, as I say with every Lantern video, uh, anytime you can get Lantern into a good matchup, just stick that matchup and ride the wave through. Lickitung is going to be the safe swap here. Obviously, it's one of the, it's been the perennial safe swap in Great League for five seasons, six seasons, really the only, I can't even remember the time, I think ever since the XL, uh, XL candies came out, Lickitung has been at the top, so let's go ahead and get into this game, and if you haven't, hit the like button and subscribe. Right, so it's battle time, um, oops, what was that lead? Okay, Annihilate Bleed, obviously this is insanely good. Um, they did actually check to see if we had Charm. Um, since this is such a dominant matchup for Lantern, it, I did switch a little slower. Definitely, I don't think I would do that normally. Um, definitely you don't want to do that, as they can get to the double drill run um, if they do decide to shield this. If they don't, then you're good, but um, it can get a little dicey here. Now, it's going to end up being fine. We're going to shield as they shield it as well. Try to maintain switch without using as many resources as possible. Try to use as few resources as possible. The Surf's definitely going to get the KO here. So we're just trying to stay as efficient as possible on the energy counts here as Lantern can hit Dugong. Um, why did I say Dugong? It can hit the Annihilate for neutral. And having that extra energy is going to get you a little further here in this game. The only thing to really worry about is if they're going to go Shadow Ball. And it does end up being a Skarmory here in the back. And you might think, you know, Lickitung is, uh, doesn't have any good charge moves to throw at this. Everything is resisted. But actually, it's pretty okay. Um, the bulk of Lickitung alone uh, to go along with the Lick damage as its fast attack, as you see over here... Um, is definitely going to be able to do enough damage to this, and we can just maintain a shield advantage uh, going into that Alolan uh, Sand... Why do I keep saying Alolan Sand Slash? Alolan Ninetales uh, matchup, and then the uh, Annihilate's not at a Shadow Ball yet. Hopefully it doesn't have, like... Well, even if it had close combat, it's not too bad. Um, we know that we can get uh, one charm through here on the switch in, so we're going to be able to shield this last move that this uh, Skarmory did uh, build up to, and then we'll be able to farm down the Annihilate. All right, uh, Dragonair lead. Oh, I should have probably said I'm only showing this one set because I just went, well, we'll see at the end, but this set was uh, very good. And uh, yeah, so they come in with Vigoroth and I'm like, do I really even need to switch in anything? I'm going to go for the shield here. And then I'm like, you know what? I really should try to maintain that Dragonair lead. I don't want to get Lantern stuck against that Dragonair later. So I'm going to eat all this energy here on Lantern. Lantern being very bulky is going to uh, be able to just get the farm down here. Again, even if they threw, uh, even that they're throwing two body slams into us, we're just super bulky and I don't want the Dragonair to get 
uh, very much farmed. So we're limiting that farm amount on the Dragonair as in the late game, it's going to be Dragonair versus uh, Alola Ninetales. Unfortunately, I do not get the move there, but it's fine. Um, we're still afraid of the Body Slams doing a lot of damage, but we still also have Lickitung there in the back. And Lickitung just being very neutral against most of the league. Ever since Metacham even rose to um, stardom, like I'm saying, even when Metacham was at the top of the food chain here in GBL, in Great League at least, um, Lickitung was fine into it, even though it's taking super effective damage from the top dog. <laughs> and now, nowadays, Metacham is just not even worth being in the meta. So um, that just shows how I'm just trying to let you know how good Lickitung is. Although you don't really need me to uh, let you know that. Although, s side story here, I did get a better Lickitung maybe a month and a half ago. And I have like 90 Lickitungs that I'm looking to trade. And I can uh, I can actually make a better Lickitung finally. I've had this Lickitung ever since the Munchlax days um, when I was using Munchlax. But um, now I finally have enough or close to enough XLs and a better one that I can actually make. I'll finally have a good Lickitung and I'm so psyched about that. Um, not there yet. Uh, do have to make the trades, but I, I figure that's coming hopefully soon. So anyways, Alola Ninetales into Alola Ninetales. Um, I do end up switching out because we do want to, again, bait out something in the back that uh, Alola Ninetales might be the only one to beat. Luckily, we're running not the most strict ABB comp. So in some sort, in some senses of the word, it's an ABC comp and just three kind of good mon together. Um, and then maybe trying to shield through uh, one of those good matchups with one of these three, usually Shadow Alola Ninetales. Um, luckily enough, we found Bastiodon. Maybe unlucky enough that we're even facing a Bastiodon, but um, lucky enough to find it here without losing Alola Ninetales. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need this Lantern for the back or not, so definitely want to maintain it as much as possible, but... I don't think this is going to KO the Bastiodon, and if they're going to throw another move, I don't know if I need to shield or not. Maybe I could shield because I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get extra farm anyways, and hopefully have that farm advantage against whatever's in the back, even though they still have that shield. And it ends up, I promise you, I wasn't making this uh, allegory with a uh, Metacham in mind in this game. I totally forgot that we played a Metacham, um, but I now I do remember this game, and this is a wild ending to this one. So. Definitely just uh, stay tuned here. I try to do some extra damage. They end up uh, getting us down here, but they're not going to get to another move. They already threw one earlier into um, uh, into Lickitung, I believe. So now I'm like, oh, I'm done for. But then it ends up being a power-up punch, and I get to the Surf, which is crazy because I, I, I just expected them to have a different move than Power Punch, and they, they don't have enough time to go for Power Punch there, which is crazy. So earlier we did face this. This must be a team. Someone in the comments let me know if this is uh, some other content creator's team, but they have Dragonair into Vigoroth, which happened earlier, and then this time they took a lot more damage. So I am able to come in with the Lantern and actually again farm it all the way down but um in this scenario it's a lot easier and we're getting a lot more farm here uh oh i do have to shield but we end up getting a lot more farm here so i can probably throw two moves into the um the dragon air hopefully i can go for two thunderbolts but we'll see what i can get to here looks like we're probably three away if i think i can live seven dragon breaths it looks close though I'm not going to risk, you know, we wouldn't have made it. Definitely worth just getting the move off here, getting the damage off, getting the clock moved into the right direction, hopefully evening it out for us. And, um, yeah, ends up being a, another water type in the back. I think the last one was a whiz cash in the back. This one being the lantern in the back. Going to just go for the power whips. Um, yeah, I think this is all the right plays and everything. So going to go for the power whip. I believe I remember they don't shield that. Spoilers. Um, We'll see. I don't think they end up shielding this one. Yeah. And then I'm not even going to shield the Lickitung anymore. I don't care about this. I can just take this down with the Alolan Ninetales. It's not going to get to another move before we farm it down. Plus, we actually end up getting this Body Slam off. So really good for us to uh, take this out. And they have the Dragonair against our Alolan Ninetales with like 30% HP. And that's definitely another GG. 
All right, Wizcash, not the best matchup for sure. Um, could just do damage to it. Uh, could could do one more and then throw, which could contest a shield from them or bring them out. We did not get debuffed by the Scald, luckily enough for us. Great, great news for a person trying to do fast attack damage like this Alola Ninetales. So I'm probably just going to go for the two shield farm down. You guys saw I did click the switch, but it was way, it was way in the middle of a move. That was not the right time to try to switch into a move here. Um, we end up farming it down, so we do win switch. And they end up having Mantine, and I'm like, um... I don't know if I need a little nine tails for the back, so I am just gonna switch into lick a tongue here uh, before they throw a move. I'm pretty sure. No, I think I'm gonna switch into it after this, which is bonkers. I might as well let it go out at this point. I should have switched earlier for sure. They do end up having annihilate in the back, and our little nine tails doesn't have very much HP, but we do still have the lantern in the back, which is gonna be neutral against the annihilate. So, and then also our lantern is just gonna totally dominate the. Uh, Mantine. Good, really good timing here by our opponent. Didn't allow us to get to this uh, power whip, but we lived. Even though this isn't the best <laughs> Lick a Tongue here, we did end up living. Um, I think this Lick a Tongue is like a level 47, if I was to guess. I can't really remember, but I think so. Um, and then, yeah, Lantern's just able to take this out, and the Mantine, obviously, is going to be super hard countered by the Lantern. It's the risk you pay by playing RPS Mon, like Lantern and Mantine. They're both kind of RPS, and they both kind of do a lot. So um, as long as you don't get RPS, they're pretty good into neutral matchups as well. So I totally get what they're doing as we were also doing it. And when I say we're, I mean Andy Co Copey did it, and we used their team uh, and obviously you can see this team was super strong. Um, I did only show one set here. Uh, I did only play six games and I did lose that first game I played with it. Um, but I think I played so badly. I didn't want to, I didn't want to show me going through the, uh, pains of learning that team the first time around. I'm not really too used to the fast attack teams. I think I just said that in the last video where I used Jason's, uh, Bastion team, but, um, you know, I strive to be better at each of the leagues and, uh, hopefully you all do it as well. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm hoping you're not only am I hoping you're trying to get better, I'm hoping that this is actually helping people along the way. So again, thank you for coming to the channel. Hope you like, and subscribe if you liked this video and you want to see more and, uh, yeah, thank you. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. And if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out. And if you want another video on the same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there. And I'll see you in the next one.